guys so in today's video i'll be showing you how to achieve the look that i'm wearing right now it's a really really dark and intense and bold smoky eye but i think that it's perfect for a night out or any other occasion that you want to go a little bit bolder also for today's video i teamed up with sigma so all of the products that i'll be using to create this look will be by sigma beauty and if you're planning on purchasing some of them you can use my discount code to save some bucks so yeah i really hope you guys enjoy watching this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you guys so much for watching and let's go ahead and get started Alrighty guys, so starting off with the eyebrows, I'll use this brow powder duo by Sigma and it's in medium. I'll just mix the two powders together and I'll use them to fill in my brows. The powders are actually super super pigmented which makes everything a lot easier. Like I don't have to reapply layer after layer to get the intensity that I want which is really nice. And the brush I'm using is the Sigma E65. Alright, going on the eyebrows now, I'll use this, no, we're going on the eye makeup now. I'll use this eyeshadow base again by Sigma, it's called Persuade, and I'll apply it all over my eyelid with my fingers. And then very quickly, I'll go ahead and set it in place with some face powder. Alright, so for today's look, I'll use the Nightlife palette by Sigma. Today I want to create a very bold look, like I want to go really dark and intense and dramatic. So I'll start off with this shadow here, I'll use it as a transition shade and I will apply it in my crease with the E35. You don't want to skip that transition shade because it's going to act as a guideline for the darker shades that we're going to apply in a while so that we know that we don't have to bring them above that transition color. Alright, so next is time for the black eyeshadow and this is kind of a tricky part. You can use some tape, you can apply it like right here and it's going to make the things a lot easier but the thing is I can't really stand having something so sticky so close to my eye. I don't know, it really annoys me. So if you're like me, I'm going to show you what you can do instead. I'm taking an angled brush, this is the E65, I'm taking the black eyeshadow and I'll draw a line like kind of like a winged eyeliner but just the wing there and I'm going to stop uh, where my crease starts and this is going to be your guideline so you know that the black eyeshadow should stop right here and you don't have to bring it to your temples. Then I'm taking again that black eyeshadow but I'm switching the brush, I'm using the E47 and I will apply it just in the very outer corner of my eye. Black eyeshadow is really tricky to work with, like you can get really messy really fast. So that's why I'm going like very slowly, step by step. Alright, so next I'm taking this metallic grey shade. It matches my nails. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> I love matching my nails with my makeup. Anyway, I'm taking this metallic grey shade and I'll use my fingers to apply it in the center of my eyelid. And then I'm taking this shade here and then again with my fingers I will place it in the inner corner of my eyelid. Alright, so now it's time for blending and the trick here is not to take all of that dark shadows very high in the crease or up to the brow bone. So I will use this E25, it's by Sigma again and it's like a blending brush but it's pressed which is nice because it's going to give me a lot more control and I'll be able to keep everything just in the crease. So I'm taking again that cool toned brown shade that we use as a transition shade and I'll start blending the edges of the black and the grey shade into the crease. And if you feel that you lost some of the intensity of the eyeshadows because of the blending, go ahead and apply one more layer of them. I'm starting off with the black, then I'm going with the grey and after that I'm applying some of that lighter shade in the corner. And then using again that blending brush, I'll make sure that everything is nice and blended. You can also like blend in between the shades on the lid so that there is not like a line between them. Then I will add some concealer and I will blend it with this sponge here. This is a new product by Sigma, it's called the 3D HD Blender. I think that it's launching 
the end of February or the beginning of, of March, I'm not sure. And it's really nice, it has like angles, it's not absolutely rounded, which makes it really convenient. I will use the rounded side here to blend my concealer with it and I wait it before I use it. And here, let's say I'll use the corner, the corner so that I don't um, mess my eyeshadow there. Well, that's nice. And to prevent the concealer from creasing, I'll set it with some face powder. The brush I'm using is the Sigma F79. So with this look, it's absolutely fine if you want to skip the eyeliner. It won't make a huge difference because we already have that cat eye going on. But I'll add some and I'll use the Sigma liquid liner in um, Legend. Taking some of that grey metallic shade on the E30, I'll add it in the outer half of my lower lash line. Just some of that black shade in the very very outer corner. I'm also adding some of that light shade that we used on the upper lid right here in the outer, sorry, in the inner third. I'm curling my lashes and I'm applying some mascara. This is the Monumental Lash by Sigma. I also go ahead and glue on some false lashes, so be right back. Alright, the eye makeup is complete. Now let's go ahead and finish up the lower the, the face makeup. <laughs> I'll use the Nightlife Limelight Bronzer and I will apply it with the F05. Both of these are by Sigma. And also on the top of my forehead. And I'll also add some blush. This one is again by Sigma and it's called Nymphia. I'm applying it with the F10 brush. And with the F35, I'm also adding some highlighter. And lastly, on the lips, I'm going with this lipstick. It's called In Spades. And after that, on top of it, I'll add a very small amount of the Lip Eclipse called Seal of Approval. Both of them are by Sigma. I just did my hair in a ponytail and I realized that I didn't add anything in the waterline. So I'll go with this Eclipse Eyeliner Pencil and I'm just applying it in my waterline. And this concludes this video guys. I really hope you enjoy watching it. I'm really happy with the lip combination. I think that it's absolutely gorgeous. The nude lip really balances that um, heavy eye makeup and my face doesn't look like... There's too much going on. And if you recreate this look, feel free to tag me. I really want to see your recreations. So yeah, I really hope you guys like the look. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and also visit my blog. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!